What's going on guys? We are Tottenham TV here back with another transfer update video for you guys today and today again we are talking about Tongi Undombele after the breaking news last night that Inter Milan are in talks with Tongi uh, in a potential swap deal or cash deal for Tongi Undombele with the news from Fabrizio Romano saying that Spurs are willing to take a £10 million hit on the £55 million that Tottenham paid Leon last summer for Tongi. There's been a lot of responses today, so I just want to give you guys an update. A few of uh, various amount of journalists have been commenting on the issue, um, have had their say, and I just want to go through what people are saying. There's been a lot of talk today about Tongi um, in response to this article from Fabrizio Romano yesterday. So let's just go through a few of the count counterbalancing of, um news or information that we have so first we'll go to Alistair Gold who usually has decent information from Spurs he's usually he's usually at all press conferences um he he works at Football London I remember he was one of the earliest ones to talk about Paolo Dybala for Tottenham um and he tweeted out today saying I'm told Spurs not looking to sell Tongi and Dombele and no talks over it. They believe the young Frenchman needs time to adapt to a new country after moving away from his family and so far held back by injuries. Club, club are determined to give him the time he needs to be a success. Lot, and he further, he further down he tweeted, lots of belief in him within the club and that um, this has just been a settling in uh, in his first season. Like Son, when he arrived um, from Germany, club record signing that they gave a six-year deal to because they knew he was for the long-term big investment that they would never take a loss on. So very interesting stuff from Alistair Gold. I think the most interesting point there um, is that they would never take a loss on him, which um, is definitely uh, to the contrary of what Fabrizio was saying, who claim that Tottenham are willing to accept 45 million um a 45 million deal from Inter Milan so Alistair Gold claiming Tottenham are definitely not taking a loss on Tongi and Dombele um, and they see this first year as just a settling in period so I think that's interesting I'm I, I I like what he's saying I think that's definitely more in line of what I would believe I think Tongi is a player with a lot of potential and I definitely wouldn't take a loss on him, loss on him after one year because I think one good year and all of a sudden this price uh, skyrockets one good year and the guy's worth 100 million so it'll be stupid to sell him for a loss after one year especially when he's got a six-year contract you don't give a six-year contract to a player that you're willing to let um, cut loose after one year so I'm happy with that what he's saying and more importantly, he's saying there are no talks with uh, any other club, which it also is contrary to what Fabrizio Romano is saying. Continuing on Alice Gold's article, he said that Tottenham have done their research on Ndombele. They had scouted him relentlessly, and Stephen Hitchin, our chief scout, is an expert on all things Liga, uh, who um, he scouted Ndombele a number of times. And although it's been a struggle in this first season, Tottenham have full belief that he is going to be a success. And I echo those thoughts. I am I can see the potential he has. I know that he struggled a lot in his first season with injuries and I think with the amount of um, work ethic um, he hasn't got to grips with, I think the amount of running off the ball that he's expected to do, um, he qu hasn't quite um, got to terms with and his fitness seems to be a bit of an issue. But if he can get these things right, I think there's no better player in terms of ball carrying, um, dribbling and maybe an eye for a through ball in the squad, the Tongi. I think he's well worth um, the investment. I think he's worth hanging on to and, and risking um, another year on him. And I, I think it would be silly to let go of such a good talent for a cut price fee when if he has a decent season or a good season, his price um, skyrocket, skyrockets quite high. Um, seeing as we signed him for 55 million so a good season for him takes him probably around the 100 million mark if he has a good season given today's market so uh we'll move over to michael bridge from sky sports he says tottenham aren't looking to sell undombele despite interest from inter so he's claiming there is interest from inter but the but tottenham are not looking to sell reduced fee also out of the question my gut feeling is he'd be brilliant elsewhere parrot loan to millwall still on the card despite a late surge of interest from other championship clubs so maybe Parrot to uh, Mill isn't quite done according to Michael Bridge but again he's also ruling out Tottenham releasing him for a reduced fee which Fabrizio Romano say was adamant Tottenham were definitely willing to do um, however 
another journalist from Sky Italia, Gianluca Di Marzio, who's also um, quite reliable and usually they feed off each other in terms of information, um, Romano and um, Di Marzio. They usually tweet similar similar information. I think they feed each other information. He was talking about the Indombele following up on Romano's story yesterday and he's saying Inter Milan are still working in progress for um, Ndombele in exchange for Skriniar and he's quite adamant that, that a deal is in the works for um, Skriniar from Inter Milan and Ndombele in a swap deal. He claims that Daniel Levy would see any sort of um, transfer any sort of uh, transfer for Ndombele as a failure on his part so he's reluctant to let Ndombele go but he says he um, Ndombele is yet to gain favour with uh, Jose Mourinho and so he would be willing to let go of Ndombele because he's yet to be impressed by him. And Skriniar is a defender who is much admired by Jose Mourinho and we would be willing um, to sign him in exchange. So he's still adamant that this deal could is still on the cards. Um, in, in his article as well, he he writes that the contacts between these two clubs have begun. So he claims that the negotiations are currently underway and he says a swap deal with players like Brodovic and Perisic or Skriniar, um, three profiles that Mourinho and Spurs could appreciate. Um, so he he is in line with Romano's um, his information. He doesn't mention whether Tottenham are willing to take a cut in terms of how much money they would accept, but he says Tottenham are very interested in Brozovic, Perisic and Skriniar. Um, for a swap deal in Dombele. And finally, we got Dan Kilpatrick, who he's also talking about the deal. He says, I'm he says, I'm told Spurs are not in talks to sell in Dombele, and there is still determination to give him time to be a success at the club after a difficult first season. He goes on in his article to write, For now, Spurs chairman Daniel Leamy is determined not to sell the Maverick midfielder who costs 55 million. There is recognition from the Spurs hierarchy that Undobele needs time to adapt, having endured an injury hit maiden season in a new country while struggling with the language and being away from his family. Um, Levy in particular has faith in the 23 year old and is set on giving him time to be a success. While the club's position is clear, Spurs manager Mourinho is still to be won over by Ndombele, who played just 64 minutes after the restarts. But before like Mourinho's patience with Ndombele wore thin, but earlier this month the Portuguese insisted he could still be a success at Spurs, likened his difficult season to Luka Modric's first year at Real Madrid. So uh, there's still a belief from Mourinho, according to Dan, Kil Dan Kilpatrick, that Tongi Ndombele is going to be a success and Daniel Levy definitely does not want to lose him so I think there's a sense from the information we're getting today Tottenham definitely don't want to lose him for a cut price fee um, that's come from three different sources and there's a definitely communication that there's a lot of belief around Tottenham that he can be a success however according to the reports in Italy Tottenham are willing to do a deal and we're definitely looking to do a swap deal for someone like Skriniar um, from Inter Milan obviously he's a high class defender I'm very um, fond of Skriniar I think he's a really really good player but I wouldn't want to lose as I said yesterday I wouldn't want to lose Ndombele to him but I thought I'd just give you an update those are your updates today on Tongi Ndombele let me know in the comments below what do you think is he set to stay do you want him to stay I know most people I think in the comment section uh, want him to stay but there was some mixed reaction I saw some people happy that we were looking to get rid we did a poll on Twitter yesterday if you see the results here most people say they want him to stay but those are your updates. Let me know who you think is the most reliable. Let me know who you trust the most. And let me know what you think of the information. There's your transfer update for today. Like and subscribe and comment below. Let us know your thoughts. And as always, come on you Spurs. <laughs>